<clears throat> hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be doing something a little bit different and I'm kind of excited about it because I feel like we should talk more. Today I'm going to be talking about my period story, the first time I ever had my period. Now, if you're going to be immature and if you're not going to um, be serious about this kind of video and if you're just gonna like be all grossed out as if like half of the population doesn't get their menstrual cycle then you can go ahead and click away now because that's just come on people like we're all human and I'm just trying to tell you my story um, so yes with that being said I'm gonna go ahead and get into it I first got my period when I was in the eighth grade um, so what is that 14 or something so that's actually pretty late considering that now kids nowadays are getting them at like 10 or like 9 and I'm um but yeah I remember when I was like in the fifth grade and I was like oh my god I can't wait to have my period girl I wish I could have pushed it a little bit further you know what I mean so basically I was sitting in class and I was actually in Spanish class I remember it very well um I was in Spanish and it was towards the end of the class um and I remember sitting there, I was wearing these really light um, wash jeans. And I felt weird, like something was going on. I wasn't sure what it was. Um, so I felt kind of weird and I had looked down and there was blood. I could see blood like in between my legs. Not too, too bad, but it was enough for me to notice. So I get up, I use the restroom. When I got into the restroom, I checked, you know, see my butt. Like if anyone from my class would have seen. Um, but you could not see it like on my butt or anything. It wasn't that bad. So um, Yeah, I could only see it like in my crotch area So I was in the restroom and at that time a lot of people had been getting in trouble for Calling their parents in like the restrooms and stuff to leave school early um, So I remember I was calling my dad because I was like I have nothing I'm not prepared for this like my my jeans have blood on them I remember calling my dad and a teacher walked in and she like you know she's like knocking on the stall you can't be calling people you know to pick you up blah blah I come out of the stall and this is like during this is during class so no one was in the restroom I was like oh well you know I got my period for the first time and you know my there's blood on my pants like I need to either get a new pair of pants or I need to go home or something like that so um, it was getting worse like I was in the restroom for like 10 to 15 minutes and it gets worse like when you stand if you know what I'm saying if you're a girl you know what I'm saying so the teacher like she was like looking and she's like oh yeah let me go ahead and take you down to the nurse's office so she gave me like her little sweater she uh, let me wrap it around my waist and everything walking to the nurse I'm almost to the nurse and I see one of my good friends and she's like oh my gosh what's, what's wrong are you sick and I'm like no I you know I got my period for the first time and so I tell her, like, tell my pants, so I need to go home. And so everything's fine. This was, like, on a on a Thursday or something like that. So I had class the next day. Dad comes to pick me up. Everything's fine. Like, I go to the store, get some, you know, pads and stuff. Everything's good. So then the next day, I go to school. Everyone knows about it. Like, everyone. During that time, I was getting bullied a lot. So all the popular kids or whatever that were bullying me we're making fun of me for my period. Now that I look back, I'm just like, that was so stupid. The only person I had seen was my friend when I was walking to the nurse. So at that time, we were kind of like, I was dating this guy, dating middle school, dating when you don't even actually go out places, you just like see each other at school. So I was dating this guy, but she kind of liked him. So I kind of feel like she may have said something. Now, like, I really don't care because, you know, it's just a story. And at that time, it was very bad for me because, like, it was just too much. <laughs> I was, you know, getting bullied about that. So for, like, a week straight, I was, like, bullied about my period. Which really sucks because, like, it happens to all of us. And by no means should you be bullied about it. Like, it's just a way of life. You know, like, honestly, it sucks like having your period sucks but it's a beautiful thing and it happens every month and you're like oh my god not again um, <laughs> and you kind of wish like next month it will surprise you and not and not come but it always does by no means did you feel embarrassed about it or you know have to hide your tampons or all that kind of stuff or hide your pads like who cares like it's literally you have to go through it every woman goes through it like too tragic it was just like at that time it was really hard for me and um, 
yeah it was just it was a rough one but you know what what doesn't kill you makes you stronger I feel like sometimes when you listen to other people's stories and it's like worse than yours you kind of feel better about it um, so I thought that I would do that for you guys because um, I know a lot of people don't have like a story where they got it all over their pants so yes if you want to share yours down below you go ahead and do it girl I will be reading them and commenting back Anyways, thank you all so much for watching. If you like these more sit down story time kind of videos, give this video a thumbs up. Um, if you are new to my channel, if you haven't already, make sure you click that subscribe button. I would really, really appreciate it. Life is too short to be negative, so make sure you're keeping it positive. I love you all so, so much.